time to begin stage 4 of the career mode in Need for Speed Underground 2. And you will notice there's a couple of differences here. Well, even though I am technically using the same car and also making sure that I did everything, in terms of customization to basically make this Hyundai Coupe look exactly like the same one I used from the previous attempt I had when I got up to this point. Well, originally we came out of stage 3 with 7.8 grand, but by the time I got to the end of stage 4, well, I discovered my average reputation points were basically not even close for me to clinch the final sponsor I need. Which, by the way, is Grand Day 4, Stage 5, and well, as I said before, my average rep, I think it was at about 156.9 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, the point is, I started the whole game over again, and now up to this point in the game once again, and this time it's only taken me 5 days to get all the way up here. And I also put on some more upgrades on this thing that, well, I did not do in my original attempt of doing the previous episodes, because, well, this is a totally different profile. I still use the Peugeot, I did everything in terms of customization and upgrades, making sure everything was precisely how I did it before, and now I've basically done the same thing again, but this time with the Hyundai, except for saying that, well, I did fit a few more upgrades on this thing compared to what I originally did. So, it's the start of stage 4, Coal Harbour East is now unlocked, and after I've spent basically just over 2 minutes trying to somehow get the words out and not make it look like I'm just off on a fucking rant, I think it's now time for us to get on with our bank reward search. And we are going to start off right here at the airport, as I already know where the first one is. Also, if you're asking why the RPM has been re has been increased from what it was before, well, that's because I put on a Stage 2 ECU upgrade along with a Stage 2 engine upgrade and a Stage 2 suspension upgrade. So this is the location of Bank Reward number 1. It's located right here, dead centre at the airport. And now, we're going to head into the Coal Harbour East area in order for us to get, I think, our next four Bank Rewards. Although it could be five. There's a total of... 12 that we need to collect here, and I've already collected the first one, as you just saw there. And already I run into the back of a Lexus IS300. Oh well, anyways. Let us start our search. And the first place I'm going to head to is of course the first shop on the map, and that is a specialties shop and where we've now unlocked some more parts as a result however i'm not going to showcase those just yet hey accessorize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here so we've unlocked some so we've unlocked some new custom gauges we've also Unlocked some more window tints. And... Oh. We must not have unlocked anything. Oh yeah, the tuned layout. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, well anyway. So yeah, there is that. I think we also got some new spinners as well, and yes we do. Well, that's interesting. Okay. And split hoods and doors, I don't think they'll be unlocked until we get to the end of the stage. I think that's when we'll unlock both of those. However, what's more important is we do have a bank reward which is located just outside 
of the specialty shop. And that is precisely where I'm going to head. I should also mention, if you're hearing anything in the background at the moment, it's because, well, I have my uh, phone notification sounds on. Don't ask why. I'll put that down in an area where you're not hearing the chimes so much. But anyway, so that's our second cash reward now collected. And I think it should be somewhere around here that we'll find a tuning shop. Well, in other words, a performance shop. And here it is. So we have now unlocked, I think, some level 3 parts, if I'm not mistaken. Although they could just be stage 2. Yo, stock is for suckers. To rule the streets, you need something special under the hood. Get all the performance parts you need right here to turn your kitten into a tiger. Sure, whatever, Rachel. I'm not getting down to that yet, however, because... I still need to locate the other shops. And I believe there's still two more shops we need to find. One of them is a body shop, and the other one is a graphics shop. Which, as far as I'm aware, is just up the street from here. So, I think I'll head up there first. And then, I think once I'm done with that... I'll then... Go and find my next cash reward. Which is not too far from here. But first of all, graphics shop. And I believe this is where we also unlock the pearlescent paint. Now credit is this is a wet bar for your ride. Give it some distinction by coating it with some paint. And yes, we do unlock the pearlescent paint. Doesn't really change my car visually though, unfortunately. But anyway. So that's now three of our four shops now located here in Coal Harbor East and now we just have one remaining but before we do that I need to go and get my third cash reward which is just down the street from here and on the right hand side of the map of the minimap as you can see there And if I just head over here, I think it's hidden inside the steel mill, if I'm not mistaken. At least I think it's a steel mill, but I don't entirely know for sure. Although it could just be a factory. It's either in the factory or it's just outside the factory. Because I'm pretty sure this is a factory. It must just be outside. Okay. I know it's around here somewhere. I have seen... Oh, okay. I must have taken the wrong road. Okay, do bear with me a second. I do know how to get there. I just need to head right over here. And that is now the location of three cash rewards which we have now collected. And I think there's just two more we need to collect here in Coal Harbor. As one of them is located somewhere just up the street from here. Well, first of all, you see that point right there? Well, that there is the location of the body shop. As you can see by the green light, and if I just head up there, you'll find this. The Coal Harbor East 
Body Shop is located right here. Check it out. Fenders, spoilers, side skirts, you name it, they do it. The Body Shop will make your ride stand out from those stock cars. So we've got everything except for the wide body kits. And we will get a wide body kit eventually, but it comes with a catch. And what that catch is, well, you'll just have to wait and find out. But yeah, so the wide body kits, they do come with a catch. And I think you're only able to get one wide body kit in this game, like with the previous game. If I'm not mistaken. Hey man, get ready for this. The sponsor struck a deal with the producers of the DVD Burning Wheels to get your ride on the cover. Only thing is, you gotta build your car six stars to make it happen. That is quite a task, Rachel. But I can get it done. Anyways. This is now the location of Cash Reward number four. Yeah, that's right, cash reward number four. And now, last but not least, here in the Coal Harbor East portion of the bank reward hunt, I must head over here. And that now makes it five. So, five of the twelve bank rewards have now been collected. And let's now head over to the city core in order for us to get our next four. Let's move on to the Bayview city core. We are now in the Bayview city core. And I believe this is where four of the 12 bank rewards of, or cash rewards as I prefer to call them, are located in stage 4. So that's now the location of bank reward number 6, and bank reward number 7 is just up the street. In other words, it's literally yards up the street because that's just how close it is. And now, I just need to head this way. I really felt for sure I was gonna sneeze there, but thankfully I did not. Anyways, let's now head up over here, and there should be some parking spots, I think. Or it could just be a patch of grass. Actually, on second thoughts, that probably is just a patch of grass. Well, it just goes to show how little I'm paying attention. Anyway. That's now eight of the twelve cash rewards now located. And now, I need to head... There should be an opening here. Here it is. I just need to head over here and just up the street there should be a hotel near here that does show me where the cash reward is and it's right here. Alrighty, so that now brings our total up to 9 on the cash reward collection. Now, I'm going to head into Beacon Hill to collect our next two cash rewards whilst I run straight into a pickup truck. Oh well, anyway. On to... On to Beacon Hill. Okay, let's do this. This is the location of cash reward number 10 and there should be an opening just up the road from here and yes there is the opening is right here and that now brings us up to 10 
on the cash rewards which we have now located and our penultimate cash reward is located just up the road from here. I could obviously take the three hairpins but I figure it's probably easier if I just head up this way because well as you either can or cannot see there is a shortcut here which I am going to use to full effect because that will save me some time and this is now the location of cash reward number 11 and now last but not least we need to go high up into Jackson Heights in order for us to collect what should be our final cash reward of stage 4. There are no info rewards either because well we finished those off at the end of the previous stage. So heading now into Jackson Heights and there it is the last bank reward of stage 4 and as a result we have literally moved up 2400 credits since we started this. I'm also pretty sure that's a TV mast I see all the way over there. But anyway, this is the location of cash reward number 12 and now that will conclude the cash reward hunt of stage 4 and next time we will be getting started with the races of stage 4 and where we will be beginning in Coal Harbour and so with that stay tuned for more of Underground 2 Hoopty with them squatters, whoever put in the dollars, holler, we see a car hotter, uh, uh.